Hey, I'm Ray Latif with BevNet. I'm here at Expo East 2016. I'm at the Cam Cold Brew Wellness Teas booth. I'm here with co-founder Nico Nicolau. How are you? I'm doing well, Ray. How are you? I'm doing good. I got your name pronounced as close as uh, I possibly That's could perfect. to correct. It's okay. perfect. It's it was perfect. Good? Okay, good. Hey, Greek names are not easy, so it's all right. They're not, but what is easy is uh, the drinking uh, ability of Cam Teas. And one of the things that's so great about your brand is, you know, cold brew is one of these hot uh, buzzwords and trends these days, and especially in coffee, but you don't see a lot of it in tea. And you guys are, I guess, one of the pioneers in terms of uh, cold brew tea in bottle format. Um, you know, what are you doing to sort of like get your name out there and, and educate the public about what cold brew teas are all about? Yeah, so um, as as you know, we were finalists uh, for the beverage, new beverage showdown about a year ago, and uh, it was an excellent experience for us, and it really gave us some incredible feedback that we took back to the drawing board. And uh, we launched initially with Whole Foods in, uh, in the Northeast region. Region. And we really went back to the drawing board, listening to our consumers to find out what they want. And uh, that's why we had a, a slight tweak with the, with the brand in the middle. Uh, number one thing was people were talking about why is this good for them, why is, why is cold brew good? And uh, what happened was with Starbucks picking up cold brew and the cold brew coffee craze, we saw a lot of people talking less of what is cold brew. They understand it now, so they understand the benefits of that now. And uh, we, we tweaked our label to talk about cold brew a little bit on the side and also uh, you know, our sourcing, clean labels and everything. Just kind of give the customers what they were asking for. Yeah, and some of the, what they're asking for are different varieties as well. You started out with a chamomile variety, now you have two other ones. Can you talk about those? Yeah, absolutely. So we started off with a cold brew chamomile. Uh, there was no chamomile tea that was straight chamomile. Uh, the reaction was great, um, kind of proof of concept for us. And uh, we, we branched out, we did a, a Greek Mountain Tea, which is nominated for Best New Beverage, actually, here at Expo East for our next year award, so fingers crossed. And uh, we also did a cold brewed a fruit tea. So we source our ingredients, uh, we work directly with our producers. Uh, we have two producers out of Greece, uh, we work with South Africa and Europe, and uh, we have our two new SKUs. We launched them at, Ex at Fancy Food Show two months ago, and now at Expo East. You know, one of the other interesting things about what you guys do is you HPP the product. Right. And so, you know, you don't see a lot of HPP teas. What, uh, what does it do for your product? What does it do for your consumer? Right, so we initially needed to HPP because we use raw honey and it starts to ferment after a few days. So we were a little nervous to see what was going to happen, but the, the results were phenomenal. It gave us a, a shelf life extension to up to about 160 days. Uh, the taste is phenomenal. It tastes very true to form. And, um, you know, it, it helped put us into a different kind of category with all the other HPP products. As far as the, uh, you know, the health benefits, you call yourselves wellness teas. I mean, it's hard to talk about functional benefits these days. You know, there's lawyers all over the place waiting for you to slip up. But, you know, w what, you know, in general terms, do you, uh, does your tea uh, do in terms of a uh, functional benefit? Well, first of all, you know, chamomile, everybody knows, is a very calming type of uh, ingredient. So it's anti-anxiety, it's calming. There's a lot of stuff we cannot put on the label. We'll have the FDA come down on us or being litigated. Right. But, um, you know, our, with our fruit tea, we took advantage of all the ingredients. Like we have hibiscus in there. We have uh, honey bush, a lot of things that are known. Uh, our mountain tea is very high in polyphenols, antioxidants, very good for your immune system. You know, we really, one of the great things about our consumers is that, you know, nowadays it's so easy to get information. So we hope that, you know, they read our labels and they do a little bit of research on their own. And, you know, there's a plethora of, of information, uh, clinical data and research with these herbs and, uh, and ingredients that we use. Last point, you know, we saw a couple companies a couple of years ago, high profile companies, Suja and Harmless Harvest, launch some cold brew offerings, cold brew tea offerings. Um, timing might have been wrong, you know, but where can you succeed where they might have fallen off? Um, yeah, I mean, um, you know, big fans of both the brands. Um, I had tried the teas uh, a while back and, um, you know, it, it might have been it might have been a little too premature at that time. I think what happens now, even in the last year that we've had, we've noticed how much more accepted cold brew is now. Uh, people get it now, people understand. Another thing is, you know, um, when, when I think, uh, you know, Harmless Harvest, I think coconut water. When I think suja, I think, I think um, you know, cold pressed juice. Um, you know, we focus on tea every day. That's all we do. That's that's our mission, and we, we, we do our best to do it well. That's 100% our focus. I think you're doing a good job at it. I appreciate it, right? Well, I really appreciate you taking uh, your, we, we taking your entire booth over oh, for like the last few good. minutes. So uh, I think you're going to have a great rest of the show, and I uh, hope to see you no, again soon. Absolutely, absolutely. You guys are welcome back anytime. Thanks so much, Nico. Thanks, thank thank you. you.